okay after that one has been done so if you know you did um self upload if you know you did self upload this is a document you should go with it you have um this is a document you should have, after doing your self upload this is a document you should go with the tcs center after your appointment number one is your appointment date you know that in your email you booked appointment they will send you an email for your appointment date and everything you print that one out then the first page of your document checklist like that one i told you to you should download so you download out the first page of your document checklist and again your original passport of course where they will stamp the visa and again photocopy you do the photocopy of your data page photocopy of all the empty space not all the empty space of all the um stamped site in your document like if you've been to other countries you do photocopy of the place that they put visa before inside your passport i hope you understand you do photocopy of everything and submit it today then under to actually go with this go with your original document of just in case please you have not submitted your original document because if you submit it that is by by you it's only photocopies you're submitting only photocopies you're submitting but just go with your original certificate just in case they say okay this one no clear that kind of thing or maybe they say they can just go no manner just go with your original certificate so if you know you do not do the self upload the only thing you will do is you just uh, print your copy of appointment confirmation letter print the copy of um added service because if you, if you don't do self upload you have to click that added service and pay that they should scan for you you have to print out a copy of it and then and then that's it and then your other documents document that they will scan of course so when you actually get there they will ask you self upload qa um added service you are here and everything so what you're going to for that day is you're going for your biometric and your biometric and your document submission and that is it so when you get there you do your biometric you submit the thing is never going to take up to 15 20 or 30 minutes here document submission do your thumb printing take your passport photograph just submit it and then depending on the type of visa and of course don't forget your other document though your visa fee that you paid make sure you're printing it out if you paid for extra superiority let's say you know the normal standard visa fee for work visa is three hundred and twenty dollars so imagine if you paid for superiority visa that's you're paying extra 200 and something with that 300 and this thing so you print out all your receipts all the emails they send you like send, send, you know, print everything out when you're submitting so after that one you just wait in type of visa 14 days or anything then they want you if you want to pay for sms i will not really advise for sms because to actually tell you email is just enough to notify you and if you don't stay in lagos i actually advise you actually pay for dhl maybe like mm, Eight thousand, like they have, um, they will ask you if you want to come back to collect your passport or they should DHL it to you. I think you pay DHL, even if you are in Lagos, send DHL. So that it's easy for. I don't know, depending on how close that place is, they will actually pay for DHL. If not, you can come back to come and collect your passport yourself. The other thing is this DHL center. I told you they are in Lagos, they are in Abuja, and in Lagos they have two centers there. Jesus. In Lagos, they actually have two centers there. Which is um they have center in Ikeja, they have in Ireland. In Ikeja is free. Booking an appointment in Ikeja is very free. But a limitation to it is the cloud is just too much. It's just just too much. So if you're actually running away from the cloud, you don't want too much cloud, you can go to the one in in the VI, the island one. But that one you have to pay like an extra like fifty five pounds. So if you know you have fifty five pounds to pay and you want something sharp sharp go to the one in vi there is no queue like everything does not take time but when you get that well, that's when i go they push that safe and everything because it's really very crowded because of course it's on the mainland so guys that will be the end of today's video and don't forget make sure you do not staple make sure you do not staple any of your documents and any document you're scanning make sure it comes out in the colored form the way it is just like so if you're document is black and white scan it as black and white this is colored scan it as colored and don't forget the uh, format a4 paper whether you're printing marriage certificate or anything make sure it's a4 paper okay so guys if you like this video of course you can click the subscribe button and i'll see my next video thanks for watching bye, -bye.